Now, I did run this outside. Um, it's very smooth. This is what they call the speed up gearbox. And you know these are plastic gears here. Right. Okay. And by the way, uh, do they uh, worn out often? No, not really. Unless you do some really hard crashes. This is very smooth. See, this is very, very smooth gear. You don't want to put uh, grease on plastic. Okay. Why? Because it, oh, because it slips. Right. Metal is fine because metal seems, seems to grind somewhat, but these are very plastic gears. Very, you get smooth like that, you know you're good. If don't, you feel, don't, don't they get hot? No, not really. You're not going to get that hot because it's so smooth and they just, they have such a hot, it's called a speed, it's at a hot RPM. All they're doing is basically, when they free like this here, it's just running freely. That, they might get a little warm. I have some heat shrink around here to keep the heat off them, but they're not really going to get that. Anything part, the moon part is going to wear out, but it's, unless you're doing some really, really hard flying, like 3D flying or something like that, scale flying, they're going to last a, a good while. You know, just every so often you want to check. The other command, what I did, one of the things I didn't realize is that sometimes I get ahead of myself, always read the instructions completely, okay? What I did, I made a mistake. I didn't read the instructions. I just, kind of, I just put the hello command in the slot and didn't realize that this hello command it must be balanced. So what I did, I used the uh, side frame, the side frame mount from the jet cap, from the, from the frame itself, and put a piece of wood block, the same dimension of the uh, wood block of the uh, side frame. You, want, you should use about three quarter inch plywood. Get that nice and level, sand up nice and smooth, and you see the hello command, it comes with a foam tape. Make sure you use the foam tape that they sent you, and you want to sit that right in the center of this wood block. Make sure that the, the, the uh, measurement is equal on both sides and front. Must be perfectly dead center, okay? Because that's what it reading it, it reading it, it, it reading movements. So if this is off, just a little bit slight, they're gonna read that movement off. Oh, so okay. your helicopter is never, it's gonna not gonna be stable. So it's it there to be like steady, to yeah, bolt it tightly, nice and level. And this wood block is perfectly center on this frame because of the jet engine. So my suggestion: find a wood frame away from any moving part. Put a wood block, that quarter inch wood block, and make sure your Hello command, whatever device you're using, dead center is a wood block, equal on both sides. Okay, mm. saves up a lot of headache. Okay. Now with that, we're gonna um, pretty much, like I say, everything is pretty much set up here uh, with the language. Uh, pretty much follow the instruction to the T. Uh, they're pretty really good with the instruction. Um, now we're gonna go on to the tail. Explain about the tail. Now, real quick, before you go to the tail, uh, last time we spoke, you were saying how easy it is from your setup to put uh, the engine in uh, the, um, the fuselage. Right. Bolt, like four bolts you mentioned and everything else. Correct. Still, how, long, how long does that process take to, to, I mean, in this particular EC-135? I could take this engine out in probably a half hour. Half an hour. Right, that's taking my time. I gotta take the, 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 the struts off, two bolts, and it comes out. And one thing I also did, I put an extra fuel tank on here. Right. Um, I, like the, uh, I like to fly along. So I put an extra fuel tank. It has two fuel, actually it has three fuel tanks. You have two that here. That's yeah, on the plus side, the emergency one. Right. And you have the center one and you have what we call a, UT, a UV tank. Right. So it's, it's, I'm estimating this machine would stay up probably a half hour in flight. It's probably going to be a half hour flight time. Right. And basically what it is, it's the same thing as a, a single tank. You right. Just, you just put a, a T. So when they fill, they both fill at the same time. And the pump, they both come out the same time, come into this tank, into the UV tank, into the drain. And there's one vent. Right. So you just tee everything. Right. The fuselage, what you have to do, you have to line everything up in the fuselage. That's why I say you must use a measure. Right. This is your best friend right here. Right. Your ruler, measuring tape. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to measure, measure, measure. Right. Until you get the same amount of distance on both sides. And then you sit your mechanics inside the fuselage, mm -hmm. and then you measure your exhaust. Once you are satisfied with all those measurements, then you can make a, a hole. I mean, I use a mark a lot, just make where, the, where the frame's gonna sit, mm -hmm. and then, I, then I, I measure again. I always measure, before you drill, you measure, you measure, you're not sure, start over again. Once you're sure that it's straight, lined up, perfectly lined up straight, you should have no, no problems. So you to auto-rotate in this four-bladed, that should, that should be a breeze for you? Uh, yeah, it depends on the pilot. Um, most auto rotation you usually get one shot. Um, with, with because because this is heavy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, with this two gas heavy. tanks, I mean, whoa. <laughs> right. 
But the thing about four blade, you don't need as much pitch because you got so many blades lifting. Yeah. So you you got a little bit more uh, for everything. More so, room and everything. So yeah. okay. So your blades are oh, the engine's not that working because you got so many so many blades lifting up the machine. Realistically speaking, uh, with the two extra tanks, they seem so huge by the way. Uh, and and that third one, what's your time? Or what's your flight time? I'm estimating a half hour. On the safe side. On the safe side, half hour. That's amazing. Wow. So, so we'll see when we get when we get. You no, know, of course, wind can make a difference and stuff. It's really windy out. But on the average day in South Florida, I should get a half hour. Should be should be a problem at all. This is a custom exhaust I'm looking at. Yes, from Tam Jets custom Did exhaust. Did you suggest that uh, the the exhaust be just like that? That, I, that, I would, that size? because of the blades for this particular machine is like three hundred, four hundred bucks. <laughs> and the exhaust that come with this kit that you can that what they suggest right it shoots towards the back which is right. directly on the rotor blades that's these so are good. to the sides so actually the exhaust is from the side of the blade which i think my own personal opinion is, is uh, it's a lot better uh you got 400 degrees coming out of these pipes 400 400 degrees coming out of those pipes the exhaust pipes very mm -hmm. hot so you want to make sure that the uh, blades are not sitting very long when you start something you want the blades to start turning right away